let's do connections. We're finding four groups of four. Um, I'm still sick, and now I have a sore throat, so this should be fun. But we're giving it a try anyway. All right, volleyball and squash. Um, I'm guessing do not go together because they're up here together. Um, we've got record-breaking cricket press. We've got table hockey, frog skeletons, mood and crush, trampoline, kangaroo, mash, and hare. I mean, hares and kangaroos are like jumping animals. So is a frog, and so is a cricket. Is there anything else that jumps? I'm just going to give this a quick look over. I think that's it. These are animals known for jumping. Jumping animals, nice. Squash and mash and crush and press all mean the same thing. Anyone like that? Um, there's that channel with the hydraulic press where he crushes all sorts of things. Anyone like that channel? I think it's fun. Um, so we have the blue and purple left. I'm wearing green today, so my shirt does not help me, unfortunately. But we will we will give it a try anyway. Um, mood is a bit strange, isn't it? Could it be a fill in the blank type purple? I'm not sure what I would put next to mood though. Skeleton is also a bit strange, like skeleton key. We saw breaking and record, or is it record? Hmm. We've got hockey and volleyball. Sports involving nets. Hockey, volleyball, and trampoline all have nets. I don't know what else would have a net, though. Hmm. That seems a bit strange for a blue or purple, actually. That would be more like a... Actually, would it? I don't know. Breaking is weird because it's like... It's a verb. I-N-G verb. None of these other ones are like that. Like, it's not recording. Could it be breaking bad? I don't see how bad would fit against anything else. I'm also thinking about whether it's first words of TV shows. If it is, I don't know these other TV shows. How about Mood Ring? It's one of the few things I can attack on to mood is Mood Ring. You can have a hockey rink, but not a hockey ring, right? It's rink, R-I-N-K. None of this, nothing else really works with ring anyway. Rude is doom backwards. Nothing else really looks correct backwards. I got the first two so quickly, but this is just... I can't get a handle on what these mean. How about table? What if I focus on table? I mean, table tennis has been coming to my mind for a while, but I don't really see how that works. Table can mean a lot of things. You could table a discussion, which in the US means to put it off for later, and in the UK means to put it high priority, which is kind of funny. I just find it weird that we have hockey and volleyball here. You really want to put those together, but if they were split up, like how would that work? I still like the net idea. I could try putting these three together with something, like table, for example, and just see if it's one away. I've got lots of mistakes left, so let's get some info for that. It is not one away. So it's not the net thing. So what this means is two of these go in one category and two go in the other. That's a really good piece of information, actually. So if I thought hockey and volleyball were, the only reason I think they get split up is because they, they're too cushy together, right? It's a, it's a red herring for sure, for blue and purple. So if I split up hockey and volleyball, one of them goes with table, one of them goes with trampoline. Jumping sports, volleyball and trampoline. Okay, I, I don't think it's like the, I mean, the beginning of words again, like would they do that in twice in a row? Well, actually, like, we had one in between, but trampoline starts with tramp. Volleyball starts with volley. Breaking starts with break. I don't know what else. We couldn't put table or hockey in with it because of the it wasn't one away. I don't think any of these start with a word, though. One of these is the blue. Like I feel like the blue shouldn't be as hard to get. The purple is going to be something weird that I'm not going to I'm not going to think of probably at this point. Maybe maybe I could try thinking about these a bit more. But the blue, I feel like we should be able to get something going there. Things that are inside. Skeletons and tables are generally inside. There are outside tables, though. Um, your mood is generally inside. And then I'd have to go with hockey, volleyball, or trampoline. Trampolines are not inside. Neither is hockey or volleyball. Okay, this doesn't work. Also, I didn't think it would, but figured I'd give it a try. Canadian pastimes. Hockey. If I wanted to lock one in again just for information, what would I do? I think I'd split up hockey and volleyball. So like, let's pick volleyball and put trampoline with it, just because I think they both involve nets, but I don't know if that's helpful, but I could put like record 
and skeleton with it. I don't know. Let's just see what this ends up being. That's also not one away. So these also get split up. I think I think that's okay. So think about this. If volleyball and trampoline went together, they don't go together with skeleton or record at all, and they don't go together with table or hockey at all. So they'd have to go together with these two. So it's either that or they don't go together. Because this wasn't one away, which means these two don't go with it. And this wasn't one away, which means these two don't go with it. So I think I should just try it with these two and get that piece of information of whether volleyball and trampoline go together. Okay. That also wasn't one away. So I have three things that aren't one away. I've got trampoline, table, hockey, and volleyball. I've got, sorry, I got, yeah. Trampoline and volleyball with table hockey is not one away. With skeleton record is not one away, and with breaking mood is not one away. So they cannot go together because there's nothing to, for them to go with. So either volleyball goes with table or with hockey. So let's say volleyball went with table. That means hockey and trampoline go together as well. It also means skeleton and record don't go together, and it also means breaking and mood don't go together, right? Because if they went together, they would have had to also go with trampoline or volleyball. I'm, I'm pretty sure that's the logic. So. It's either table, volleyball, skeleton mood, or table, volleyball, breaking record. I think breaking record's going to be the purple. Some kind of fill in the blank or other weird thing. Skeleton mood, though. All right, well, I'm kind of over this. Um, let's flip a coin. So heads, I'm going to put these with skeleton mood. Tails, I'm going to put these with breaking record. All right. It was heads, so I put them with skeleton mood. Nope, one away. Okay, so I was just wrong. Olympic sports. So I let me look at these results. So I'm not sure I can interpret that. So let's think about this. Olympic sports breaking is a sport. Skeleton is a sport. Okay, well, I just didn't know that. Trampoline is an Olympic sport. Things you can set. Set a mood. Set a record. Set a table. And you can set in volleyball. Okay, I, I don't know. Um... What did I do together? I did volleyball. Was it volleyball and table that went together? Why was that one away that I guessed? I don't know. Anyway, I, I, I'm, I misjudged. I thought, I thought it wasn't possible for what I guessed to be one away, so I misjudged a, an option. But either way, breaking and skeleton being sports is wild to me. Okay, anyway, how'd you do? Let's do the mini crossword for Friday, March 22nd, 2024. My voice is uh, quite low today because I have a sore throat, so I apologize. But... Uh, Let's give this a go. When doubled, a mild reprimand. Tisk tisk. I don't know. Hawaii dance. The uh, hula. When doubled, very friendly. Not sure. Partner of rules informally. When doubled, sailors ascent. I I. When doubled, get my innuendo. Mm hmm. Um. I'm not sure. One time lead in to mobile in the auto world. What? Root. Path. Uh, don't know. Okay. Pops, Blank, Lewis, and the News. Huey. Is that H U E Y? Top half of bikini. Is it just a bra? Do they call that the bra? Uh, when doubled, a mild reprimand. Still don't have any letters for that. When doubled, very friendly. No idea. Partner of rules informally. Get my innuendo. Is it Q U? I don't say it would be Q U. There's too many of these that I'm not sure. One time lead in to mobile in the auto world. One time lead in to mobile in the auto world. I don't know what that means. Root. Can't think of what this would be. I can make sure I'm a. Um, correct so far when doubled a mild reprimand um don't i don't know very friendly be you i don't know what partner of rules informally is supposed to be hinting at r e is bra not correct i don't know okay i'm gonna check what we've got so far it's all correct so far i should look at these acrosses some more then when doubled very friendly I've let a word that you'd say twice to be friendly. I don't know. 
partner of rules. Get my innuendo, huh? Huh? Um, <laughs> I don't know. One time lead in to mobile in the auto world or mobile. I don't know. Uh, auto? No clue is correct though. No clue. Root. I don't think I can solve this without hints. A mild reprimand. Is it tisk tisk with no vowels? No, completely wrong. I have no idea. My, my. <laughs> it's two letters long. Uh, okay. I think there's like a reveal. I'm going to reveal this cell. I'm going to reveal this square. It's an N. What? Nudge, nudge. Okay. Very friendly. Buddy, buddy, buddy. I don't know. Is that right? Okay. Who says buddy, buddy? Um... Partner of rules informally. Red. What? LD. Root. Way. Now, now. Old. Oldsmobile. Okay. That was. I'm not going to talk about it. But I want to look at this. Partner of rules informally. Regs. Like regulations. Rules and regulations. Regs. Wouldn't have thought of that in a million years. Who says regs? Rules and regs? Now, now. Nudge, nudge. Buddy, buddy, really. Oldsmobile. Didn't they discontinue Oldsmobile? That's why it says one time. I don't, misunderstood what one time meant. Okay, anyway, how'd you do? Let's do strands for March 22nd. Uh, I've got, I'm sick and have a sore throat now, so we'll see how this goes, but... Uh, our theme is animal sounds. Animal sounds. I mean, it's got to be some kind of play on words because the, the theme's never been that straightforward before. Let's see what I see, though. Like, is there bark or meow? I, mean, I can't think what this play on words would be, so I think I just need to get some words locked in. Let's focus on this U here. I see muscle. Interesting. Muscle. That doesn't help me. Huh. Animal sounds. Muscle. I've got this M here. Probably M-O, right? Because, like, what else is gonna... Got mode. I don't think that would be it. Um, I don't see how we're putting the H next to the M or the D. So M-O or O-M. A-L here is interesting as well. Coral? No. Tarn. How about coral like this? Interesting. Muscle and coral, like a chorus. I want this to be Morse, but actually this G is interesting. What's this G doing? G-R? Gromo. Uh, grizzly? <sighs> okay. So are these... Hom homophone, no, hom yeah, homophones of animals. So these are words that sound like an animal, like muscle, coral, and grizzly, but they're spelled differently because they're they're actually a different word. Okay, so homophones is probably here. Um, I see phones, yeah. So here it is, homophones. Okay, we've got whale. Um. We've got deer. I don't, I mean, horse. <laughs> okay, probably H-O-A-R-S. Oh, wait, we need to use the E, though. Yeah, horse, okay. And then moose. Nice. Cool, not too bad today. Just had to figure out what the theme meant. Um, once I got grizzly, I was like, oh, okay. And then coral was there, but then it was spelled like, choral music. <laughs> I was like, okay, okay, I see what you're doing. Anyway, how'd you do?